Hey everyone, I'm back again. As you guys can see, um, I'm recording three episodes all at once at the same time, so it's a little bit hectic. And you guys can see, like, my hair's in a mess. It's most likely because I didn't, uh, didn't have time for a shower, and that thing is growing. Stay dead. Whoa. Holy crap. That's insane. It's making a robotic noise, too. That's really creepy. Alright, the structure shell is charged and actually keeps going for a while. Seems only connected. You guys can go ahead and, like, read all this. I'm just gonna glance through it. After a few minutes of reanimation, mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel head hardened within it. Ugh. Hey, Francis, screw off, please. I'm trying to read this. Take any properties. We'll release. All right. I'm just like waiting to turn around and see someone standing there. Ew. Of course. Toss it away, man. Never seen something on that speed. Alright, so the jail's in here. Holy crap! It came back to life. Or something like it. That's pretty cool. It's active. Um, can I not take this computer chip? Do I have to keep injecting it with stuff? <clears throat> Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, man. That is sick in so many ways possible. You're gonna go back in there, rat. I'm sorry, but you're gonna die over time. Because wow, woo, or whatever it's called, is weird like that. Second thing, gel to keep stuff together. Uh, 
Hey Francis, coming for a visit. This is weird that uh, it loads. What's up, Francis? That is creepy. On so many levels, dude. Alright. Alright, Francis. Chillax, dude. Where is the... There's an upstairs. I know there's an upstairs because I saw it. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and scratch my nose a little bit. <clears throat> oh. Here. And there's the uh, other area that we have to. For a second, I thought that was a cat. I guess we'll be leaving out. Wait, no, this is the entrance. They were all killed here. Ew. Let's leave that locked. That was a little bit spooky there. Okay, I came through here. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm going to regret this on so many levels. Why? Well, let's see. Lower section is unlocked. Mid section is unlocked. Upper section, have to override. Please don't tell me I've released you. Like that's the one thing I want is to have him released. I don't want Francis released because, uh, of course, like I said, uh, he spooks me a little bit, and uh, having him released is gonna make me a little bit more jumpy and scared. And oh, great, a save point. Ew. Okay, it seems like I have to go that way, but I kind of don't want to go that way just yet. Especially with those sounds? Yeah, screw that. Kind of want to explore the other way. Seems more uh, safe at the moment. Now, doesn't it? <sighs> Take that back. It's not safe in here either. At least we can get some uh, nice uh, curry mix. Dried beef and noodles. Actually, dried noodle would. Noodles and beef. That actually sounds really delicious. Mmm. Alright. Undelivered report number one. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. 
The Climber returned with only a lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenta Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Ow. Okay, so we don't need to go that way. Francis is down there chillaxing until I release him. And uh, there's something down this way, I think. Kind of hoping it's just that thing, like, over there. Another one. Uh, something's there. Of course, of course. Uh, it's a weird woman thing crying. The problem is that it's, uh, I think in the spot I need to go to. Let's see if this will, uh, attract her attention. How am I going to do this? Is it that I need to keep making it attention over there? Okay, so I do need to make a lot of attraction. And that's not making no noise. This is annoying.
this chick will not move. The hell is wrong with this chick? So spooky indeed. I don't even know what to do. I'm at a loss. You know what? Fuck it. What the? F I'm at a loss. Can I get up here without making any noise? Should be fine. Or will she attempt to kill me? Better run. Better run. She following? Damn it! He run fast? No. Okay, honey, stay over there. Don't know how I did this, but, um... Yeah. What's up? Okay, the question is, was that... Everything I need. Oh yeah, that was what the bodies were. Yep, that's everything I needed. So Francis. Oh, fuck me. Screw this. Screw this. Screw this. Screw this. Screw this. Fuck, 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 Shut the door, Cap. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? Don't know, don't care. Don't know, don't care. Let me stick this all in. Managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Oh. Yeah. Let's get to work. Oh, that's terrifying. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Just make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. 
Oh, man. It's terrified of me. I don't even know how we did that. We're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you wanna stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Yeah, let's do this. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Okay, is this the height it goes in? I think so. Okay, we're almost there. It's right there. Like so close. Of course, it's mismatch. I can't seem to connect. Oh, oh. <laughs> Already? I have everything under control, so please have a seat. Let's do this. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. Well, with the most expensive camera in the world. Sure. No, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> One body down, on to the next one. Wow. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Yeah. What was that? No, I, it just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you <clears> think <throat> would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. I'm sorry, me.
Alright guys, I think this is a more suitable spot to stop, but I agree with Simon. That's just disgusting in a sense of... He thought it was going to be a brain transplant, but of course we all knew along it's just a copy. You're going to copy yourself and put it in the new copy. The old self will be sitting there thinking nothing happened. But it is disgusting how left there be all alone. I don't know. It just feels gross in a way. <sighs> but yeah, we're gonna stop here. Um, I'm gonna get this all, uh, like, all these three videos rendered up and uh, uploaded to you guys. Hopefully it's a little better quality in the sense, or maybe, I don't know. I the X story just does not want to record with this anymore. But until next time, this is Yoshito Kikago signing off. I need to get some sleep. <laughs> Bye, guys.